Okay, so we're going to get started. It's one o'clock, and here we go. We are going, y'all. This is the placemat. It's vinyl, but it's vinyl placemat, and guess what we're going to make? This little bag. Hey, hey, sneaking in during history class. Hey, girl, hey. Um, yeah, so we're going to make this little, I mean, y'all, it's sturdy as can be. It's going to have these little um, grommets in it, okay? It's heavy-duty vinyl. It was a dollar. It was a placemat. And, yeah, it holds wine. Okay, you want to know what kind? It says Oliver. It's from Costco. Y'all, I'm not a big wine drinker, but I can be, I can be persuaded. So, <laughs> hey, Marilyn, so glad you're here. So, y'all, we're going to make this, and I want to give complete credit to um, YouTuber Posh Paper Lady. Um, y'all, she, she's a genius. She's a genius. And Karen, my friend Karen, who's on here, actually shared this with me. And I'm, I was like, oh, y'all, I got to try it. I got to try it. So here we go. I mean, y'all, it is, it works. It's heavy. It's strong. And I did it a little differently than she she used these snaps. You'll see in her video, she used snaps. Um, love some blush with a splash of seven. Oh, Tammy, now I got to, you know, I got to try that now. Um, she used snaps. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to use snaps. I want to use the, um, the crocodile and its little grommets. Okay. Also, I'm going to use this tape here. It's, I got mine on Amazon ages ago because I'm doing um, I'm doing some specialty projects that I will never do on on video because they are huge projects. However, I'm going to use it on this. So I'm using the recipe from Posh Paper Lady for the most part, um, and I'll just show you what we're going to do. We're going to peel off the um, the label, and I, I had cut one over there, but I've already. Hang on, hang on. It's got a little label. And if you're careful, you just, you know, you just peel it off. It'll come off slowly. Don't get crazy and start ripping because then you're going to have to pick the thing apart. Um, but mine came off pretty easy. And guess what, y'all? I want to show you one very important thing. Do y'all see right here what that says? Look at that, y'all. Dollar Tree made in the USA. Yay. I love that. Okay, so we are going to start cutting. I'm going to trim one half inch off of each side, and I don't want to mess this up, so I've got to be sure. Okay, all we're doing is getting this curve off, okay? Let me pull out my, my trimmer a little bigger. Okay. Yeah, when, when Karen shared this with me, I didn't get to see it right then, and I came across it later in our text, and I was like, oh man, I meant to go look at that. Because pretty much anything Posh Paper Lady does, I have to I have to do, right? I mean, I have to try, because she's genius. And, um, and I miss, sometimes I miss that she's uploaded a video or whatever, so I was like, oh, I can go watch it now. And, and I did, and y'all, here we are, right? And I will share everything I learned with you. So all we're doing is taking that little curve off. Okay. We're leaving quite a curve, you know, a little bit of a curve, but it's, oh, oh, there we go. It's okay. <laughs> y'all, I'm wrecking my whole plan. I brought John 316 over here today, y'all, because we need to remember this all the time, all the time. And, and y'all know he belongs on my other desk over there, but y'all, I don't know. I don't know if I can keep him here because, you know, because I'll be creating and knocking it all around. But y'all know. Okay, so now we've cut off one half inch off each side. Now I'm going to score it. And y'all, I'm y'all know I'm a screw up. So I'm gonna put the blade that cuts is up here. Oh, test time. Okay, Karen. See you later. Love you. Mean it. Okay, now I'm gonna score at let's go this way. I'm gonna score it one inch. And that is, mm, I don't know if I should do that or not. If I should move it over to here. I'm going to. 
I hope I'm right. Okay, so I'm going to score it, y'all. And I got to press pretty hard because it's vinyl. And, and hey, if you're watching and you haven't said hey, give me a shout. Let me know you're here. Okay, so that's one inch, and now we're going to go to five inches. And yes, I had to write my my measurements on this thing here. What I did, I laid a piece of scotch tape on there and just wrote over the letter, the, the numbers, because, y'all, they wore off. Okay, so now we're going, oop, see, I almost grabbed the blade, y'all. This is the um, scoring blade, and this is the cutting blade. So let's hope I don't do that, because if so, y'all, we got to start over. But you know me, I got extra just in case I have a big boo-boo, all right? So then we go to nine. So we, we trimmed a half inch off. We scored at one. We scored at five. Now we're going to score at nine. Okay, and then we're going to go all the way over here to 13, because I think these things were 17 inches, I think. I got my little tape measure here. So I need to do this plus, yeah, they were uh, 17 and a half, I think. All right, so now we're going to score at 13. And you know, I'm just measuring going across here, right? So we have all of our scores done. I don't think you can see them, but maybe not. Yeah, there you go. You can see a little bit right there, okay? This is the other side if you're coming in late and just now seeing it. Okay. Who doggies? All right. So now, y'all, I was trying to um I was trying to fold it on the line and I wanted to be exact. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this my little John 316. Y'all don't forget that. Okay. Um my score line is right here. I'm putting my ruler right against it, and I'm just folding on that crease. And now at this point, I'm going to line up, make sure that the top is even. And of course, the bottom will naturally be even. And I'm just going to, I'm using my little mug rug. <laughs> Tammy's familiar with this. We made this in sewing class. Uh, Tammy, I miss those days so much. I'll cry if I talk about it. Oh, hey, Heather. Here's what we're making out of a placemat. It's a wine a, a little wine bag. Okay. So, um, yeah, so I, it just happens to be right here. So I'm going to use it just to, just to be able to press down on this because my fingers don't want to do it. All right. So that's a good crease. See? Okay. And then we're going to do this one. All right. You know what? I ought to cut them up first. Um, oh, 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 I forgot to hang on y'all. I forgot to cut at at three inch, I mean, score at three inches. Oh, and it's too big. Okay. All right. Hold on, y'all. We got to do this first. Told y'all, I got, you know, it, it takes me a minute sometimes. Three inches. We're going to go this way. Okay. Because we got to have flaps, don't we? Everybody needs a good flap to close up a little box. And that's what we're doing. So that I'm going to make sure I'm at three inches. Okay. And okay. Oh, y'all, and Ninja Man came home last night. Let me tell y'all, he went to Jacksonville with my um with our pastor and four other guys. And from Noonan to Jacksonville, they went on Tuesday. And then they came back last night. Um, y'all know my church was hurt was hurt. <laughs> yeah, it was hurt. Um, it was hit hard with the tornado. Um, I want to say it was April. I, yeah, I don't even know. It it's just it's just a whirlwind as to when everything happened. But anyway, um, this church in Jacksonville, Florida, heard about us and they donated everything, like everything, y'all. Audiovisual equipment, chairs. A huge refrigerator cooler looking thing like you'd buy Cokes out of, you know, at the store. Um, tables and a sound stage and everything. That, it's like they donated their entire church because they, um, they had uh, 300 members before COVID and then they're down to 30. And they just wanted to bless us. And our men went down there and got everything. Now, y'all, I'm just going to cut 
right here, this was, um, whatever I said, this was three inches here, and I'm going to cut to make our flaps, okay? Um, and I'm, I'm going to kind of go in at an angle and come in at the point. All right, and I know I'm not using my, my um, Tim Holtz scissors, but I'll tell y'all what, if you're going to use something besides a utility scissors, tell those scissors goodbye at some point because this vinyl will chew them up. Um, but yeah, so they went down there and they got everything, y'all. And I mean, when I went to pick him up, there must have been 30 church members out there helping to unload. And... I just wanted to cry. It was just such a such a blessing for them to bless our church. And we're not going back in the same building. We're now meeting in a uh in a school gymnasium. Very blessed for that. Um but we're we're hoping, you know, well we know. We know that God will lead us somewhere. I mean, look look at how he's provided for us. My goodness. I mean, goodness. <laughs> How he has provided. Okay, and we've got these flaps cut off. And then right here, right here, we are go just going to go. And we're going in at an angle, y'all, because that makes it much more, uh, much, much better to close. All right. Um, and then I'm just going to, I'm just going to cut that right off. Okay. All right. Um, I'm so glad to see you here, all of y'all, all of y'all, all of y'all. I'm just going to smooth these down, make sure that they're down as good as they can be, make sure I'm not hurting my little mug rug. And uh, I could use my um, bone folder, but I really didn't want to scrape the color, take a chance on scraping the color off of here, right? Um, that's right, Heather. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I'm back to folding this way. Y'all know we have to go left and right sometimes when I'm crafting. All right, we're going to fold this way. And if y'all go watch the Posh Paper Lady, she has made like a um, iPad case. She's made, a, I think she's made a phone case. There's a lot of things you can make out of this. I, I want to make a little box, y'all. Hey, Nyoka. Hey, girl. Hey. Uh, yeah, I want to make a little a little box or something. Um, Nyoka, we're using a placemat from Dollar Tree. Oh, hold on. See, y'all, I get ahead of myself. I get all excited. Here we go. Okay. Who doggies. All right, all right, all right. I'm making sure my top is straight. We don't want anything going cray-cray with our top, right? Heather, I've seen so many cool things. Yeah, that uh, are you talking about posh paper lady and stuff she makes? Okay, y'all. So here we go. Oh, y'all, I gotta fold this one too. I gotta, hold on, we gotta go upside down. I gotta fold this one in. I almost forgot it. This is how we're gonna close our little bag. Okay, here we go. Who doggies? I tell you what, this is some folding right here, y'all. I've seen so many cool things made from those placemats. And I'm going to have to try most of them, Heather, because I love making something out of nothing, especially something this sturdy that you can use. I mean, I'm like pulling on it really hard. And it's got this whole bottle of wine in it. It's not going anywhere, okay? I love making something out of nothing, which this isn't really nothing, but, you know. Okay, um... It's going to go like this. I'm going to need to mark my little spaces where I want to put, where I want to put my little handles. Okay. Oh, oh, that's right. She didn't cut off handles. Okay. I did my first one different than her. So I'm going to, I'm going to use um, this one over here that I use for mistakes. I'm going to cut my handles out of that, out of, out of this one that I was working on earlier, and I thought, nah, I want to do it differently. So, all right. So my handles, let's see. I like the way these look, and they're about an inch and a quarter down. Okay. So we're going to go, we're going to go an inch. I'm just going to do an inch and a half because it's easier to see. No, that's too far. Hold on, hold on. 
I'm going to do one inch because this is where I want the little hole. And I'll show you. See, what I did a minute ago was measure the whole strap. But if you look at where the hole is, it's, it's going to be right at the one inch. Heather, we do always need to make sure our top is straight. <laughs> right? We do. We do. Okay. All right. I'm um, going to put this guy here and get an idea about how far away that is. So we're going to put our other one right here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did you see what just happened? Okay, hold on. Didn't really happen because I, I erased it, so it didn't happen. All right. Uh, let's see. I know, y'all. I know. I'm a goof off. I know. Okay, that's, it's a little, there we go. All right, I just don't want to get that wrong. Uh, by the way, do y'all see my pencil eraser? Guess what? I have to tell Wren now, yes, you may use my pencil. Do not chew the eraser. That's what I have to tell her. And she always kind of puts her head down and goes, okay. Uh-huh. She doesn't know how I know that she did it. All right, so let's see. Where did I put my, there's my lines. Okay, so my other lines are going on this side. I just had to make sure, make sure. And we're going to go uh, one inch. And one inch. Right there, okay? And I think I think that's about right, y'all. I do. Okay, so I'm going to put this to the side for just a minute. No chewing. That's right. Nyoka, my top is kind of wonky today. <laughs> mine too, girlfriend. I'll tell you, mine too. All right, so on this one, y'all, I just kind of did it without, without really looking at the measurements, which it turned out fine. Like, I would give this as a gift, okay? But when I did it, y'all, instead of cutting a half inch off each side, I cut I cut two inches off of one side and made the um you see the the curve of the placemat here. I just don't have a problem with that. I think it's okay. Um and and I didn't hide that curve. So what I want to do here, I want to take this and I want to just set it right here at one inch and I'm going to cut and I got to press really hard and then I'm going to get that piece off because it's got a, it's got a uh, crease in it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. I know y'all are saying, Kathy, stop. It's not even. Okay. There we go. All right. So we're just getting rid of that because of the crease. Okay. And now I'm going down here and getting one inch. I'm getting my straps right now. Here we go. It, it's, you know, it's a little forceful over there, a little forceful cutting, but it's okay. And I'll make something else out of this. I don't know what right now. Okay. Who doggies. I know I say that a lot. Who doggies. Okay, y'all. This is my boom, 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 crocodile. And I love this tool. And I'll tell you a secret. It's not going to be a secret to y'all, because y'all know. Y'all know, Kathy Bo's always going to have to test things first before she ruins it, right? Uh, you know, test. Okay. Um, Heather, that placement looks like a retired 31. Pro Doesn't it? I love it. I love it. It's so pretty. And the fact that it's made in the USA, it just makes me happy. All right, so let's look at this, and I'm going to decide that I want the silver... Uh, oops, the silver grommets. Okay. And I will try one out first so I don't mess up. I have to keep these taped. Um, I have little pieces of leather in here that I try frequently with, you know, before I make something. Because I don't want to waste leather, right? And I sure don't want to waste a $1 piece of vinyl. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take this one and just just test it. If y'all don't have a crocodile, um, let me tell you, you can get them on sale. This is a neat tool. It punches, hold on, I'll just show you this way. Okay, it punches a hole. This right here is a 3 16 and this is a 1 8 inch size hole, see? Okay. 
and then you you can turn these all around one way and another and make um, that's where the grommet pokes in. You'll see. You'll see. Okay, and let me make sure that I've got the right configuration for my little, see, I have to look at my little instructions, um, only because it didn't do as well as I wanted it to on that first one. So, um, so I'm going to do A, which is the 3 sixteenths, and then the, the uh, 3 sixteenths bottom. So uh, that one's, yeah, yeah. That's perfectly fine. All right, these little blocks, they turn. See? See how it turns around? And you can flip it all around and make it, uh, let's see, that's number two. That's number one. Yeah. It's got a tiny little number on it that you have to coordinate with this. And, you know, anyway. But y'all don't have to worry about that. Y'all can just enjoy crafting. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is punch my hole. And I want the bigger hole. So this is just my test piece, all right, punched. There it is. All right, then, oh, well, it's little thing didn't come all the way out. Please hold. Um, hold on. There we go. I didn't go all the way through. Okay, see the hole? Okay, and then I'm just going to put this guy in the hole, okay, like this. Then I'm going to put it where the, the little nail-looking part right here in this one goes down in that little hole. Okay, don't be impressed, y'all. I had to look at the book. And then I'm going to squeeze the living daylights out of it. Squeeze, squeeze. Okay, and then we have, it. I squeezed it too hard, but we have our little grommet set. All right. Okay, so that's what we're going to do over here. We are going to put our little holes in. And hopefully, you know, it won't be too crazy. Oh, good thing I did an inch, y'all. Because guess, guess how big the throat is here? One inch. Uh-huh. That's, that's how big it is, y'all. One inch. All right, hold on. Here we go. Just putting the holes in for my straps. And y'all, we're about home free on this, on this bad boy. And if y'all get a chance to go see the Posh Paper Lady on YouTube, um, you're in for a treat. You are in for a treat. She um she just does some interesting things. She's really sharp when it comes to um, seeing something and saying, hey, I, I, I can make something out of that. Okay. Our holes are here. Now is, this is always a scary part for me. Oh, wait, I got to put the holes in the straps, don't I? <laughs> but this, this putting these grommets on is always a little bit scary for me because, you know, they may not be perfect. But that's okay, y'all. There's, didn't we say the other day, there's no tears in crafting. All right, we are going to put a hole in this. Let me see where, let's see where it is. Okay, um, hold on, hold on. Who's here and hadn't said hello yet? You're not in trouble, but I want to know who's here. All right, so we got that one, and I'm going to trim this end because it's, it's a little curvy. Trim it off. And we're going to come in with this, up oh, with this, ah, oh, poo, right about, right about there, I think. Let's see. Oh, dear, no. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh, bye, Heather. Okay, so now we're going right here. Thank you for coming. Okay, so we got, we got one strap ready, all right? And now we're going to do the other strap. I'm just going to put them together. See if I, I bet I can. I know I can go through both of them at once. I know I can. I don't know why I didn't do that before. There we go. So simple. I don't know why I did it separate. Okay. So now we can put these guys on. And I'm going to be sure the... The um, finished side, of course, needs to be on the outside, all right? Come on now. Hold on, hold on. Looking for the hole. There it is. All right, we're just going to put that right there. Okay. And I'm going to... Oop. <laughs> this is a glass table underneath me, y'all. A glass desktop. Squeeze that, and it's on. Okay. 
and see how it looks right there looks good doesn't it i love the i love the silver it goes with it well then i'm going to turn this kind of like that all right so we have like a little purse handle okay and we're going to put we're going to put this one in there i don't know if y'all can see me doing this but i'm trying so right here i was having to wrestle a little bit with um with my tool there i would suggest that you go in at about a quarter inch maybe um maybe not uh, a half inch whatever i did there is a little it was a little long for the crocodile but it works it works and then placing the um the rivet or grommet or whatever you want to call is it's real important that you always have the nice pretty finished side on the pretty side you know of your project so um we're just going to go ahead and get the other handle sealed in there and then we're going to be making the rest of the container. We're almost done at this point. We just got to get those in. And I tried to speed it up for you so that um, you wouldn't have to see all of my <laughs> all of my struggles. But I was a little on the struggle bus right here. But hey, y'all, it worked and nobody died. So that's a good thing, right? <laughs> right. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Now, let's go on with our lives. Okay, everybody. Is anybody still here? I hope you are. I'm so sorry. All right, here we go. So, we are going to put... <laughs> now that that nearly took me out of the... Oh, all right. We're going to put this tape, this super duper sticky tape on here and I'm going to put a little piece here and smush this down a bit more. She actually used, the, the posh lady used um, a bone folder of some sort, a creaser, you know, this guy. And it, it worked fine, but I can see it does break the color a bit. But right here's the side that you're not going to see, so it's all right. So I'm going to peel this up. Come on now. I just I just want the paper up. It's that kind of day, isn't it, y'all? It's a good thing my nap is coming up right after this video. Got to take my nap. All right, there we go. I don't blame y'all if you're not here. I really don't because this is a hot, hot mess over here. All right, then we're just going to put the sides together. Make sure the top is even. Make sure the bottom is even. And I'll do it like this. I was going to put two strips of tape, but then I thought, let's see if one will do it. Let's see if one will do it. There we go. There we go. All right. So that that's holding. That's good stuff right there. Let go. Heavens. You're, it's not about you, tape. It's not what it's about to be. There we go. Whew. Yeah. Okay, okay. Am I here by myself? Am I? I don't blame you. I don't. I don't. It's, it's a hot mess. Okay, and then we're just going to fold these in. We're almost done, y'all. Almost done. We're going to fold these in, y'all. Let me see if I can tilt you down a good bit and see. Here we go. All right. Y'all, this is a hot mess day. This just is. This just is. Okay, I hope that works. I uh, cannot see your comments, but I do hope you're still here. Um, but my phone just died because guess who failed to plug it in? That would be yours truly. All right, I'm going to put a little piece of tape here. I'm going to put a piece here and some up here. So um, here we go. Okay, um, uh, let's see, do we want to, no, I don't think it matters. Okay, so we'll put a piece here. And peel this up. Here we go. And stick that down, okay? And then we're going to do these. And we are 
pretty much done. All right, put that there. Peel off the paper and put this here like this. I'm just pinching this closed a little bit better so it's a little sharper uh, bottom here. And here we go, y'all. This is our little bag. I'm sorry I have to show it to you down here. Um, I'll bring it up here and show you. This is our little bag to carry our wine in or something. You know, it doesn't have to be wine. Um, but here's a bottle. Boop. And look how strong, look how strong this is. See, um, I don't see any comments, but I hope you're all still here. I uh, hope I did not uh, go go wherever Facebook sends you. I don't know when my phone died, but my phone is up here, and I forgot to charge it. I forgot to put the the charger in. Okay, so this is our project, and um, hope you enjoy it. And just picture this with a adorable little tag on it and it's a gifty item and you know you can put other things in here it doesn't have to be wine right right okay guys thank you so much and uh, appreciate y'all hanging out if you're watching the replay leave me a comment please but y'all it's so cute so cute and you can go to um you can go to dollar tree or anywhere and get you a, a little placemat so cute and it's a good sturdy bag right Thank you, Marilyn. Okay. God bless. Thanks, y'all. Toodles.